Welcome to BCH Technologies. Um, today we're going to talk about how to interpret the, the nozzle check from Canon. And uh, this is a standard uh, uh, nozzle check page. What happens is uh, you have um, uh, two cartridges. One is uh, black, that's in the pig, that's a, that has pigment ink, or maybe you convert it to the dye ink already. And uh, then you have another cartridge. The cartridge have CMY. Okay. So what what happened is uh, if you print a document, and uh, in the black, the printer will just use the black to print the document. However, if you if you print a photo, uh, even is uh, even it's gray or uh, or some other colors, you know, even it's black, the printer combine those three colors. Um, pigment ink has been known that it's not really great on the printing pictures. So when you print the pictures, the printer is trying to use those three colors to print the picture. So that's why you have this. So the black, the Canon doesn't really need to test the, the mixing. So the Canon print solely from the black. And this is to, and, and this show you if the black is is a clock or not. And then for the colors, for each color, Canon is gonna print at two levels. This is a hundred percent level, and uh, this is a uh, uh, Canon will not tell me what level this is, but I am suspect it's about 70% or 80% level. And level, I mean, is a number of dots that are printed in the page. Okay, so you can think of it's, uh, this one is the old nozzles are firing. This is uh, some part of nozzle is firing. And uh, I had a conversation with Canon for like about an hour, and uh, they described to me as uh, when you have a clock, um, when you have a clock, the clock might not be shown if you have all the nozzles firing. And uh, the clock may be here when only some of the nozzles are firing. So that's why they designed two levels. Okay. And uh, this black, they're mixed. Okay, they are mixed black. This is not so you can you you say you can say as uh, if you mix CMY, you have a different kind of black than the real black. Okay, those are two different uh, th those two different things. Okay, so same as uh, magenta, same as yellow. So I hope you understand now uh, what this means. So, for example, this is one the cartridge that I unclocked yesterday. So let's focus on the color. Those two colors are okay, and uh, you can see at the at the full nozzle, which is everybody, every nozzle is firing, so you get a pretty good. I'll get closer. You get a pretty good printout, except you can see a little bit here. However, if you're not using the full nozzle, you can see there's it's blank. Okay. So it means there may be some still some clock stick to the print head. So when you did not print at the full force, you will not get the you will not get the, the correct the correct print. And also you can see a little bit thing here. Okay. So that means the the print head sometimes clock, sometimes not. So I just use the regular unclocking method. And uh, this is the first cleaning. You can see it, it has has improved a lot. Okay, so get a, even at the half nozzle, you get a printout. Okay, so this will tell you some of them still still need to be cleaned. And then actually, this picture is the third page after cleaning, so everything is fine. Okay. In contrast, 
if we have this kind of cartridge, okay, you can just you can, you can see it just opposite. So at when at the full nozzle, you get nothing coming out, and then when you have a partial, and uh, then you get a perfect print. So this is the problem that uh, um, I think. Uh, okay, I have a theory I br I brought to Canon, but that they will they won't verify. And uh, all they tell me is uh, you can go buy a new cartridge. So basically, I um, they don't want to answer it. So I suspect if you see, I have another um, I have another a video which which show you when the printhead is about to die. I have this this kind of super bubble. Okay. It's not so. Here's my theory: is if you only fire a couple of nozzles, okay, I think the I think the printhead is fine. So it's like this. But when you fire everybody all together, it's known that uh, when the printhead is dying, it start overheating. So that's why. This is not printed, but this is print fine. Okay, this kind of uh, print head is really hard to find, and uh, I'm really glad one of our customers sending one for troubleshooting, so we replace it with a uh, virgin cartridge. But this is the one that printed this. Okay, so you can see it's not virgin, so it's have been used. So uh, it's very likely this guy. Is maybe at the end of his life, and uh, we cannot confirm this theory. One thing we can try is that we're going to try all the unclocking method. See if we can, see if we can unclock this, and uh, if we can unclock it, we want to see how stable it is. Okay, so and then uh, we may. Uh, the conclusion we got is not that if the theory is right or wrong. As if we see this kind of pattern, if is it still possible to unclog this? At first, we we make sure everybody got enough ink. So first one, uh, we start with a priming clip. Uh, this is really effective if there's some um, air bubbles blocking the nozzles. So we can see the color is close to uh, black, which means uh, all three nozzles can uh, can output the same amount of ink. Okay. So we got a white paper towel to wipe off the excessive ink before we put it in and uh, you can see all three colors coming out so the first one didn't work then we put it in uh, in the boiling water just in case there's there's some uh, really tough clocks so we going to use the heating to loosen up the, the uh, clogging. So we tried ultrasonic cleaning, and uh, still we're trying to loosen up the clock, if there is any clock.
of the ultrasound doesn't work. Steaming doesn't work. Okay, now I'm going to do the vacuum. I'm going to fold a paper towel. Put some water on it. Then wrap around the cartridge. And then you just do a little dab on the paper and you should be able to see all the three colors coming out. So if you see any color on the first bar, you should keep trying. However, in this circumstance, if you see the first bar is completely missing, and the second bar is perfect. And uh, uh, what I can tell you is it's really hard to unclog. Okay, I, ho I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Winsburg, North Carolina. Thank you, have a good day, cheers.